Alright, so now for this, uh, this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and add some text. Um, we're going to play with some layers a little bit, and we're also going to add our background color. So to change the color of the background, we're going to go ahead and unlock the layer that's called background by double clicking the padlock and just click OK. Okay, you don't need to rename it. Now, to fill in a background color, it's really relatively easy. You can choose any color from your background. I am going to choose blue. And then we're going to choose our paint bucket tool and just paint it in. Now, I'm not sure if that's the right color blue I want, so I'm going to choose another color. I like that color. That's a good color. The reason I'm choosing blue is because my message is going to be called I vote so I'm going to use red white and blue since we're American and those are our colors in my uh, color scheme for this project you want to always remember the the motto kiss keep it simple okay so you don't want a lot of extra stuff um, we're working with silhouettes right now so that's all we want to do we don't want to add any gradients we don't want to add any little extras <clears throat> so our next step is to arrange this so it doesn't look like I've chopped off my arm. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to group together all three of these layers by right-clicking them and choosing Link Layers. And you'll see a little chain link here. That means they've now all become one piece. And I'm gonna transform it. So you may wanna transform your image, your silhouette that you've made um, to be either a little smaller or a little larger. You can duplicate your silhouette so that there's multiples of them. Um, it's all up to you. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger and I'm gonna pull this out. Now remember when you're transforming it to make it larger, you want your uh, finger to hold down the shift key while you're doing it. Now, it still looks like my arm has been cut off. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unlink these layers. And I'm only going to link my arm and my ballot. And I'm actually going to move those up to the top so it looks like it's coming out of the top corner. And I'm just going to make that a little bit larger. I'm going to scooch it over a little bit. All right. So now that we have the arrangement of our silhouette here. Um, make this a little bit bigger. Uh, the silhouette of our arrangement, we can start to add some text. Now to do that, we're going to use our text options here. Now if you click and hold down your text button, uh, you should be able to get the type vertical, area type tools, and all that. So you want to click and hold, horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, horizontal type mask tool, vertical type mask tool, or type in area tools you may also see there. We're just going to start with our horizontal type tool, and I'm just going to make a quick and simple I vote text. Now, you can't see anything because the color that I was typing in is the same color as my background. So to change that, I'm just going to highlight my text and I'm going to make my text white so it's a little easier to see. It's really, really small, so I'm going to change my font size up here in my format bar to let's say 60, it's a good size. Now if you wanted to change your font style, it's also up here in your format bar and you can choose any style you want. Definitely suggest choosing a style that is easy to read, maybe kind of bold, um, and is kind of related to your overall idea or theme that you want to convey in your message. So I'm going to use a very simple kind of type. Uh, let's see, we're going to use one that doesn't have a lot of serifs or those little curlies that are on the bottom. And where are you? I am going to use, let's see what Tahoma looks like. That looks good. Now if you want to add you want to make it a little fatter you can do that by adding bold to it 
You can also play with the color. So I'm going to play with the color red since we are being patri patriotic about mine. Now I'm not a huge fan of that color red. It's a little harsh on the eyes. So what I'm going to do is actually re-highlight my text and play with that color red just to make it a little bit deeper and not as bright. That's a little better. Although I still think that my words are a little too small, so I'm going to transform it to make them a little bigger. And you can put this wherever you think is a good place to put it. Now I may put it right about here. This might be a good spot for it. Or you can put it up in the top. I'll leave it up in the top. Now, so we've added our I statement, if you will, your essentially your title and your descriptor of your project, but you also need to add a line of text. Now this is a line that is um, a descriptor or a fact or something like that. So when we come back from the next tutorial, when we come back to the next tutorial, we'll be adding in the text for that.